Electric cars have changed the face of the automotive industry. They're quieter, carbon emission free, and of course, stylish as hell. Your first thought when talking about electric cars may be the Tesla family of vehicles. But what if we told you another company long thought to be gone is back, and their solar-powered cars may just be the machines to take down the massive Musk empire? We'd like to introduce you to Aptera and their futuristic three-wheeled cars that are powered by the sun. Sorry, Elon, your Cybertruck is going to be going the way of the SUV if Aptera has anything to say about it. And after today's video, we're sure you'll see why. If you haven't heard of Aptera, well, we don't really blame you. This company has been stagnant for quite some time, but believe it or not, they've been around since 2006. Founded by electrical engineer Steve Fambro, the goal of Aptera was simple, create an incredibly efficient two-seat electric vehicle that also happened to be sporty, trendy, futuristic, and solar-powered. Chris Anthony was brought in to be COO, and once he joined, it was off to the races for this design team. Their initial designs were for an ultra-aerodynamic three-wheeled car. Maybe they were inspired by the Mr. Bean car? That also had a hybrid engine, which got a whopping 330 miles per gallon. But soon, that was replaced with a battery-only model. Google took interest and funded the team to the tune of $2.75 million, and tech incubator Idealab, S&J Petroleum, the Quirkus Trust, and Donald R. Beale, who is the retired chairman and CEO of Rockwell, all invested as well. It came to just about $30 million in total. What caught the attention of these Silicon Valley giants? Well, aside from the fact that if you lived in a really sunny spot, you could manage to get $1,000 miles of range out of the Aptera. And add to that if you are located in a really, really sunny area, the solar panels give you over 41 miles a day in free electricity, or up to 11,000 miles a year. Quick side note, if you live somewhere like New York City, you can expect to get between 11 and 30 miles a day on the Aptera. But considering you won't be driving that much in a city setting, that's essentially free fuel for the rest of your life. Ah, but we digress. The real selling point to the Googles and Idealabs of the world was the fact that this car could be classified as a motorcycle, and that means it could keep costs down. Hey, not bad at Terra, not bad. So where did things go wrong? How could a car with so much buzz just disappear? After all, it wasn't just big investors that were interested. By the end of 2008, 4,000 people had put down $500 deposits on what they had hoped would be their new Aptera. So what happened? Well, long story short, there was a CEO change in late 2008. And right at the same time, the Department of Technology, or DOE, rejected Aptera's application for the Advanced Technology Vehicles Manufacturing Loan Program. Electric vehicles just weren't taken as seriously as they are today. So Aptera, with their science fiction vehicle applying to the DOE for money, made sense. Well, Aptera decided redesigning the car as a passenger-style four-wheeler may be their answer to getting the funding that they needed. And the DOE committed to giving the company $150 million in 2011 as long as Aptera could raise $80 million on their own. And that was the nail in the Aptera coffin. They couldn't raise $80 million at the time, and in 2011, the company folded and sold their assets. Here's a quote from Chris Anthony that says it all. We had a production intent vehicle ready, and unfortunately, the production plans hinged on the Department of Energy loan. Steve and I had left Aptera, and the new management team did not get that Department of Energy loan, so they really had no path forward. The economy was crumbling, and people just weren't willing to put money into esoteric ideas. But good ideas don't just vanish, and a fully solar-powered car is a much more attractive prospect in 2020 than back in 2011, mainly due to the immense success of the Tesla family of vehicles. Aptera, believe it or not, is back, and they are looking to not only tear up the road with their new designs, they are looking to take down the aforementioned Tesla, and this time, they might just do it. Chinese company Zhejiang Zhongwei had bought the remains of Aptera, but didn't do much with them. The company lay dormant for years, and according to a government database, Zhongwei never filed to take over Aptera's IP with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. Enter the old team of Anthony and Fambro, who realized that there was nothing stopping them in restarting their original vision and making it better than ever. Anthony stated, There didn't seem to be any real hurdles in restarting the business just because it had laid fallow for so long. In 2019, they resurrected Aptera, and it couldn't have been at a better time. Tesla was more profitable than ever, and companies were itching to invest in electric cars. That's quite a shift from 2011, huh? And there were other startup companies popping up and trying to bring to life Aptera's original vision of a solar-powered electric vehicle. Basically, electric cars were in style, and Aptera's futuristic design suddenly seemed incredibly appealing. Now, things are looking great for Aptera. The company has announced it has $4 million in Series A funding, and it had 7,000 vehicle reservations in just over two months, which means they total a quarter billion in orders. They've even moved to a new production design facility in the Tony Sorrento Valley in San Diego. So let's talk the car. What are the specs? How does it compare to Tesla? And most important of all, how much does it cost? 
Check this out. When comparing it to the 2008 Tesla Roadster, a Terra has a coefficient of drag of 0.13, while the Roadster, 0.14 to 0.36. At Terra's got you beat Tesla. As far as battery life, at Terra only needs a 25 kilowatt battery to go 250 miles, while the Tesla only went 221 miles using its 53 kilowatt battery. Seems Aptera wins again. In fact, with a 60 kilowatt battery, the Aptera will go 600 miles. You starting to want an Aptera yet? No? Need some more stats to seal the deal? We think price might be just the thing to convert you to solar. We all know that Tesla's prices are, uh, a bit high. The 2011 Tesla Roadster Sport model sells for $156,000, and these are the models we are comparing to the Aptera. So, how much is the solar-powered Super Speedster? $25,900 for the two-motor Aptera. And this baby will give you an acceleration of 0 to 60 in 5.5 seconds. That's about as fast as the entry-level Tesla Model 3. If you want the upgraded model with a 100 kilowatt battery, your Aptera starts at $44,900, but you'll be getting a whopping 1,000 miles of range off that battery. Aptera also offers a Never Charge Solar Package that installs solar panels to the roof, which can add as much as 46 miles of range each day. That means with enough sun, you may never have to charge your Aptera again. Now, we don't want to leave out some of the exclusive features on the Tesla. After all, they are incredible machines. You won't find the safety pilot feature on the Aptera, for instance. This is a feature that includes level two autonomy. That means you get lane keep, adaptive cruise, and emergency braking. It's good stuff. The newer Tesla models also come with autopilot software, and you can even go really big with a full self-driving model. Just be ready to tack on the $10,000 upgrade to your already $200,000 purchase. Look, the truth is there's huge innovations taking place in the electronic vehicle market. Without Tesla's incredible success, we may never have had Aptera come back. The market may never have been ready for it. Will Aptera take over Tesla? Who knows? But their speedy three-wheeled machine is sure poised to try. But hey, that may just mean Mr. Musk will have to make a fully solar-powered Tesla to compete. Only time will tell on that one, though. Hey, speaking of which, before we go, Elon has toyed with the idea of solar power on his cars. It's just, well, not to the extent of the Aptera. His upcoming Cybertruck, which starts at $39,900, but will have models that start as high as $69,900, will have an optional solar-powered roof that will add 15 miles of range per day. He's even stated he would love it if the Cybertruck was fully self-powered one day. Uh-oh, Abtera, looks like the competition is closer than you thought. They just can't catch a break, huh? Thanks for tuning in today. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. It really helps us out here a lot and lets us continue to make the content that you crave. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe so you can be notified the next time one of our videos goes up. We will see you next time, right here on The Richest.